Okay guys, so we finally made it to Disney TV. Hey. We just left DreamWorks. Uh, had to get a change of shirt, passed by the hotel. I dropped coffee on myself. Uh, Jean's back. We left the ticket in the car. That's the one, yeah. But uh, we're That's actually, we have to head out. We have important people waiting for us. See you soon. No, there's one as soon as you enter the door on the left, that's why it's on the emphasis. Look at me, man. So we just left Disney. Yes, it Disney was TV Studios. It was incredible. It was yes. amazing. Such great insight. Got Thank it. you, Matt. Uh, for Thank you, Matt. The tour. Of it course. Was fantastic. This way. We're gonna go that way. Um, I mean, everywhere, everywhere looks really nice. Honestly. The uh, whole trip. Dreamworks. Dreamworks was fantastic. So the, and this place is also really, really cool. Yeah, it was very insightful. I mean, we learned so much. We're a little lost. Oh my gosh, I need a restroom, man. Not working here quite yet. Soon. Well, I don't know how we want it to Second part yes. of the series. So, to recap, yes. we were at DreamWorks. DreamWorks. Amazing experience. Amazing. Coffee. Tremendous. Yes. All over shirt. Ice cream all over the floor. Hotel. Yes. Changed the shirt. Changed shirt. I ate the ice cream. Not on ice the floor. cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Drove to Disney. Yes. Got lost. Wait. As we got lost, we didn't really get lost before this, but we, we saw um, a, a glimpse of feature animation, uh, Disney feature animation, like there. We saw the hat and, and, and the, the big thing. It was so cool. As, we didn't know what was coming up, so we just yeah. drove and we just Juan like... even said, he was like, oh, look at that, animation that in big letters. <laughs> and I'm like, huh, that's interesting. It just passes by huh. and we're like, oh my gosh, hold on. That's, that's it. That's the thing. That's, the, that's, that's the it. Thing. That's it. And then we see uh, the fence even has the Mickey Mouse uh, ears and stuff. We're like, what the heck? That, is that really the place? And we just keep looking, and it's an entire block and a half or whatever. The place. So after that, we got lost. Uh, drove in, found our way, managed yes. to get in uh, right on time. Walked in through the yes. doors because our meeting was to be there at uh, 2:45. Yeah, yeah. We got there at 2:45 p.m. Walked in Undone. through the, the glass doors. We saw Mr. Potato Head, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. We knew we were at the right spot. Uh, we told uh, Matt, hey, we're, we're here. And uh, he was like, cool, coming down. Came down, greeted us all at the door. Yeah. Very friendly, super nice. I mean, it was awesome. honestly, it was awesome such experience. a pleasure seeing yes. him again. Definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah, because if you guys remember, he came uh, in a couple of videos ago. Uh, you might have seen him, but he came over to our school and did a talk uh, with us. So he did an intro with us at the beginning, if you guys remember that. He said, like, hey, it was like, it's great seeing you guys again. And I'm like, Likewise, I mean, we're here now, and he was like, okay, so he had a whole schedule already planned for us. So he said that we're gonna go ahead and meet up with a prop artist. We're also gonna be meeting with uh, meeting with somebody in editorial. Yes. Yeah. So he was showing us a bunch of like uh, past drawings of like Kim Possible, yes. Harry the Platypus. Big shout out to Amy Amy Chen. Super cool, down to earth. She was showing us everything about like her work, yes. everything that she's done, like from when she graduated, and like basically like what she would do and everything. So a lot of her work was 2D as a prop artist. So she was showing us a lot of her work on her website. Fabulous. Like amazing work. It's tremendous stuff. It's tremendous. And we were even asking her a lot of stuff about our short film. Like, um, you know, like the whole respect for the 2D side of things is tremendous. And a lot of her work was like um, industrial in the sense of like cars or like uh, characters, yeah. props. 
we were there like, wow, this is... Well, most of the work that you uh, showed us was from Big Hero 6, uh, the series. Yeah. How much care they put into the imperfections of the line work. You know, they want the line work to be obviously great, but they make they want to make sure that it's also organic, you know? Yeah, so it's, it's very not interesting. A, it's not a 3D art, because yeah, if it were yeah. 3D, the lines are going to be perfect all the time. Yeah. So it, she said there was, a, there was a certain appeal to, to the 2D yeah. aspect of it, you know, the hand-drawn aspect of it. And she's actually offering some uh, help and guidance through a website, which I we are going to plug in. Right here? Right there. Um, because it's fantastic, you know? So basically it's uh, for um, it's for artists, period, that are looking for advice on their portfolios. And um, she's saying, yeah, you know, honestly spread the word, you know, like she was willing to help out any artist. And again, that's what made her super cool. And she was like, honestly, just bring out artists. This applies for both 2D artists, 3D artists, you know, just send her in, you know, portfolio and she'll yeah. give you advice on her feedback on it. And if I remember correctly, it wasn't only just portfolio and stuff. If you wanted guidance with like what to do in the industry, like what road to take on, because if you're very new to it and you just don't know what you'd like to do, they can guide you and help you out. I'm even gonna actually reach out to her again. Me as well, me as well, definitely. Because again, she's a talented artist and she was showing us all these great stuff. Yep. All took a family picture, it was actually yes. pretty cool. Amy yes. was actually passing by. And we, yes, yes. Uh, it was like, so great, like, oh, it was so great. And we took this picture right here, it was fantastic. Um, um, so and then we kept walking for a bit. And an, ex like an executive, like a high yes. came in um, there and we were like, let's go ahead and talk about these cubicles right quick. Yes. All these cubicles had Optimus Prime, yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys lined up all around, and they had their own custom like plate of their name on there. The one that like, we saw was Amanda, and she had this, like, I guess, three D printed uh, red name on her, her door. door. It, was really and it, cool. it was cool. It was it was cool. After we met up with Amy, we uh, went, we went to, to editorial. We went to editorial. We were in this lounge area waiting, and um, you know, oh, we took another we picture with. with um, that was on the third floor and uh, had all this stuff super cool and then we went to go meet up with Joe first of all my first impression as soon as we came in there this man has a couch in his office yeah <laughs> the couch had pillows with Mickey yeah like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like this for example so it was red and had Mickey buttons on it my first thought was this man has a surround sound system in his office <laughs> which I, mean, I guess it makes sense because he's an, he's an editor um, so it makes sense but like the setup was fantastic. We talked a lot about what editorial does and the whole process that they go through. And he was showing us like actually, I'm, I'm, what I was actually very appreciative of was that he already had, I'm not sure if you noticed, like the presentation set up before we came in. Yeah. Because he showed us the uh, the part, he showed us the same scene in different uh, stages. Parts, different yeah. stages. So I was like, wow, like he already had this set up. He had the animatic version of it, which was just uh, the hand-drawn uh, version. Um, when, I, when I mean the animatic version, I mean just the first draft. Yeah. And then he had the closer to final uh, version of that. And then Matt was in there as well, and we were all kind of just having this dialogue, like Juan was sitting here, Matt was there, Joe was there, and then we were all just having this discussion all yeah. around about the pipeline. Matt was even asking him questions so that he can answer it to us, some pretty good questions so we could get inside yeah. on it. He was actually giving us some really good notes. We were asking him questions about like the pipeline, like you no know, meeting deadlines, and it was just, you know, it was actually this one thing that I noticed um, when I asked this question. When I'm working on my on the short film, and I'm, I have the short film, I put it on the on the discussion. So yeah, a very all, elaborate um, yeah. question. A very elaborate question. And I was saying like they would give me notes. Okay, I would do this. I would go back, and they would give me notes again. Like this, go back, and it was like a loop. And I would be working on several shots at the same time. Right. And I would have different notes on all those things. And I asked them that question, and I immediately saw them smile and like look at each other. So I'm like. This is something that happens a lot <laughs> in the industry. Yeah, when they so, get a bunch of uh, notes and revisions and stuff. He gave us some pretty good advice on that. And it was the guy. He said, "I've had over 23 years of experience." Yes. He said that. Oh, I was working on Kick Batowski in one. We time. met people that have worked on these shows that we all watched when we were younger, and it's so cool. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, it, you don't, you don't do this every day. You don't it's get so that every cool. day. And he actually uh, set up some gifts for us. Um, it was funny because yeah, we made yeah. it to the first floor and he was like, all right guys, hey. Yeah. And we're like, uh, we went through gifts as well. He kept telling me, the tube, the tube. 
because he had the the, 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 the free sure flag in now. the tube. And I said, I, I didn't know what he meant by the tube. What, what Fernando meant by the tube. He was whispering tube. So he said the tube, tube the tube. I'm like, what's the tube? Stop, I gotta fall. And then we get downstairs and then he's like, well, didn't you have uh, some things you wanted to give us? He said, uh, and Matt was like, ah, ah, you're right. Thanks for remembering. Yeah. And then Fernando goes, yeah, that was the tube, man. I'm like, <laughs> That was the two. <laughs> it was a nice little care package. Yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome, awesome uh, free swag, as my, uh, Matt That's said. What he said. So they use Avid Studio for um, their editing, right? Which I was very impressed. Uh, not impressed. Hold on. <laughs> I was very surprised that they used Avid Studio because I, I would imagine that they use either After Effects or Premiere. Um, but yeah, no, they use Avid Studio, and I use, I've used Avid Studio before. And so I said a little joke, I was just like, Oh, I guess you use this avidly. <laughs> you make it sound so lame. It was a lot better than that. <laughs> Even Matt looked at you. No, Matt gave me a smile because he, hey, hey, it was a pretty decent pun, okay? <laughs> if you're going to have avid and you say avidly, it, it, it was great. It was great. I don't think Joe realized the joke. Yeah, he's, he stayed he had a state, he was, Yeah, he, he had a quiet. neutral face. Yeah. So it didn't come across to him, but it's okay. I got Matt to uh, chuckle at least. After that, we left, and then we were just talking about the whole experience, driving back, driving back to the canyon. It was actually a very quiet ride back. So we were, first of all, we were tired. And uh, second of all, we were just like, wow, this happened, you know? Like, this happened. We left DreamWorks and went, went to the hotel. And went to the hotel. And then we went to Disney TV Studios yeah. and we drove in, walked up with all the artists and we would be walking down, like artists walking down and be like, hey man, hey, yeah, what's yeah. up? Yeah, just walking so down, cool. like, calm, calm. Such a friendly environment. It's like college times, times three. A bunch of Fun. creative people yeah. coming together and making movies and having fun with it. Obviously, yeah. I'm sure there's crunch time when it comes to you know, all those moments, but it just is such a great environment to be around, you know? They even said it, they were saying, we'd rather work with someone that's actually a genuine good person to work with than to work with someone that's very hard-headed and hard to work with. They want someone that they can get along with. Everyone's just having a good time, everyone's like friends with each other, everyone's just like, yeah, yeah like, hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, we had a malfunction, my phone died. Anyway, so, Essentially, the whole concept is like, you don't want to hang out with someone that they're like, yeah, bro, move to the side. I'm trying to get you like DreamWorks, man. Just a, a, a block of my road, you know. All those people that we met today, that they were like down to earth people. Cool people. I don't think they were gonna say like, we're so cool, because humble people don't say we're so cool. When you're genuine about being that person, you're just that person, you know. And other people will say that they're cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was a lot, a lot to talk impression. about. Yeah, hopefully it made an impression on you guys. And this trip has been tremendous. A Fantastic. quick thank you to yes. everybody that you know, supported this trip. 100%. And, you know, showed us around and showed us their work and showed us around campus and everything. I mean, thank you. Yeah, 100%. Hopefully we can do this again sometime soon, obviously, because we'd like to experience this again, but with a fresh mindset of maybe being in the industry already. That being said, guys. We're gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna wrap it up here. For part two, uh, that was it. Part two, over. But we're still gonna be bringing you some footage about Cali tomorrow. Yes. We're gonna go ahead and just drive around the city. Yeah. Um, so be sure to check that out stay next posted. time video. Just be sure to stay subscribed. Hit the like button down below. Comment on um, what you wanna what see you, next. Yeah, what you wanna see next. Some animation questions you probably have. Yeah, we'll be here, guys. It's we'll been be a here. long time, but yeah, we're gonna be here. See you guys. Next, Next time. time. What? Wow. That guy just came out of there. He just came out of Walt Disney Studios.